Some of you are in a storm today, not because what you've done wrong. Y'all need to hear me. It's because what you've done right. You're in a storm today because the devil wants to trouble you, to tell you you ain't going to make it, and the devil lies to you and tell you, see, I told you it was not God. If it was God, you would not be in the storm today. I like to tell you, Paul was on a mission. He was on a mission. He had to go to Rome. He was on a mission. It wasn't because he had sin in his life. The boat began to rock, but he didn't worry about how much the boat rocked because when the boat rocks where did you find Paul he got down into the bottom of the ship him and God got alone in the middle of the rocking back and forth Paul began to hold on and begin to talk to the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Father began to send he began to send an angel in the middle of the boat where the boat was rocking in the middle of your storm hold on to God I don't care if the husband walks out I don't care if the children are locked up I don't care if you lose your job hold on to God in the middle of your storm because in the middle of the storm God is not going to forsake you that it may be Helen in your life. The winds of torment, the pure wind of torment, wind in your family. It may be hell in you in your life. Right now, but all the hell out here, some of you going through some hell in your life. But thanks be unto God, in the middle of the storm, in the middle of all the hell that's fallen, there's still a God on the throne. You don't want to miss Sunday morning, how to survive in your family, in your finances. Sunday morning at 11 a.m., the storm is about to be over with.